significance of Falcon Leap uh, celebrating the anniversary of Operation Market Garden uh, when the U.S. and Brits and other coalition allied forces came to the aid of the Dutch uh, signifies that it's a massive paratrooper uh, insertion behind enemy lines uh, to help out a comrade in need. We brought over our airborne paratroopers from 1st to 143rd uh, to participate as jumpers as well as jump masters. We also brought over some individuals from 294th Quartermaster Company to assist with the rigging of U.S. parachutes. Uh, our importance and why we are out here is threefold. One, it's to train on interoperability with our multinational partners so that if we have to go into a large-scale combat operations, we are proficient with their aircraft as well as their parachutes and their jump master commands. Second is to just build that a spirit of core and camaraderie between our multinational partners. And third uh, is to pay that respect and homage to those paratroopers who made the ultimate sacrifice, part of Operation Market Garden, Garden and to celebrate uh, what they did. My name is Major Igor De Freitas. I'm the OPR of the exercise Falcon Leap. Uh, the exercise Falcon Leap uh, developed in the last uh, 10 years into a full technical airborne exercise, uh, focusing on the interoperability between the different countries to the different participating countries, um, focusing on the airdrops of material and the airdrops of personnel. Not only the interoperability, but also the, the bonding, learning from each other, the lessons learned that you get from all participating units, not only US uh, in between, but also uh, the different nationalities and their uh, participating units uh, individually. Um, especially the bonding, the interoperability that is reached during the whole two weeks of jumping and dropping, um, well, I think it's important for every country. Well, the highlights were, um, of course the drops. We had good weather for two weeks long, uh, there was one day of bad weather, uh, but then you still see uh, the bonding in between the units, in between the individuals. Um, so the exercise on a whole, it's a highlight for me. No finer paratroopers than Dutch paratroopers. Appear on television, uh, national television tonight. So your whole chart was selected just for this jump. So that makes you the most... Here from? Texas. Texas. Well, my name is Jared Zuniga, I'm uh, the first sergeant for 294th Quartermaster Company. We come together as a coalition force and joint force, um, you know, understanding that, you know, some of the equipment uh, might be different, but ultimately it's all the same. We're all, we're all uh, have the same kind of uh, equipment and we're all kind of going towards the same ultimate goal. The other uh, positive that I know that to take away is that working with other Compo 1 units um, and showing our interoperability and our, our standards are, are the same with Compo 1 units um, as far as training, as far as knowledge, as far as experience, and especially as far as equipment too. So for Texas to keep doing this and keep you know, showing Compo 1 and Compo 3 that you know, the National Guard is an interchangeable uh, fighting force, I think that's very important for Texas. My name is Captain Matthew Dakota. I am a commander for Delta Company 2325 Air at the 82nd Airborne Division. Uh, I'm here at Market Garden 77, I'm the Airborne Commander. Uh, building partnerships with uh, allied countries here in Europe. Uh, specifically, we have with us uh, the United States, obviously. We have the Netherlands, we have Belgium, France, and Germany. We also have Italy, Greece, uh, the Czech Republic, and Portuguese uh, attending this event here. The highlight is the airborne operations. Uh, each day, doing five jumps in total, uh, working with our allied partners, building that interoperability, uh, building, uh, living the legacy with them each day, uh, and then afterwards uh, celebrating uh, um, our years of our partnership, uh, but also the uh, commemoration uh, and anniversary of Market Garden 77 uh, that took place uh, during World War II. Yeah. Here. The only thing I'd like to add is that we're all out here having a great time and we're going to bring back those experiences. Uh, from here in Eindhoven, from uh, the Netherlands, from Belgium, and uh, all those uh, airborne operations that we do, we're going to bring those back home and uh, we're going to share those experiences uh, with our fellow soldiers. 
I would say the highlight of this event has just been interacting with all the different multinational partners as well as some of our different partners from the United States Army talking to different uh, guard units, 82nd Airborne, as well as our state partners, the Chilean Army has a rep here as well as the Czech Republic also have a contingent here as well partaking in the exercise. So again, it goes back to that building esprit de corps camaraderie, ultimately to, to improve on that interoperability across all allies.